Hi, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the new coming pump. So I'm just gonna get right to it. I'm just gonna get right to it. You're gonna need a dry well in order to build this. The first thing you're probably gonna wanna get would be a tire. In order to get a tire, you're gonna need an empty bucket. You're gonna need a knife and you're gonna need to find a rubber tree. You're gonna hit that rubber tree with a knife once and then put your empty bucket on that tree. Now you're gonna have to give it a minute while it collects the rubber. Once you have that rubber, you can go ahead and pick the bucket back up. It's gonna be liquid latex, so you're gonna have to give it 30 seconds before it coagulates. So you can't do anything to it right off the bat. Now, while you're waiting for that to coagulate, you can go get some sulfur. Get sulfur by these pits in the desert that look like this. Once you do that, you're gonna add that sulfur to that coagulated bucket, which will create a bucket of sulfured latex. Now after that, you're gonna need to get oil palm from an oil palm tree. You're gonna collect that with a bowl by clicking on the oil palm tree. And you're gonna have to cook it like you would a pie or anything else in the cooker. Once you cook that once, you're gonna hit it with a round stone. And then you're gonna need to go find a bowl of water. And you're gonna add that bowl of water to that bowl of cooked palm turtles. Now once that's done, you're gonna have to recook that again. And you're going to have to separate it in an empty bowl. And then once you have that separated, you add it to your bucket of sulfur latex. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a skewer and you're gonna hit that bucket and then all you're gonna have to do is pull the tire out after that. Now, yet again, you're gonna have to cook the tire. The tire is gonna be pretty much unusable like that is. Uh, fortunately, somebody was there for me, so I'm not gonna show you how to cook it. It's just it's just like everything else. This guy ended up cooking it for me. Now, once it's cooked, the tire is gonna look like this. It's gonna be dark. Now it's usable. Uh, if it looks like this, that means it's not usable. It needs to be cooked in the Adobe oven first. Next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need three wrought iron. So in order to create the pumps, you're gonna have to heat up the wrought iron in a smithing forge and you're gonna hit it once to create the piston. Now that's a heated wrought iron. And you're gonna add the tire to that piston. Now next thing you gotta do is you gotta get two more wrought irons. Now you're gonna hit that heated up wrought iron twice in order to get the crude cylinder. And you're gonna hit it three times in order to get a boiler. Now, once that cools down, you're going to add the crude cylinder to the boiler and you're going to add the crude piston with seal onto those two. Now, after that, you're going to need four stone blocks. I'll show you what materials you need and how to create those two. You're going to need a shovel. You're going to need a chisel and you're going to need a mallet. You're going to have to find a big hard rock and you're going to undig it with a shovel. Now, once you have that done, you're gonna need your chisel and mallet. And you're gonna put your chisel on that big rock and you hit it once with the mallet. Now, once you bring those two split rocks back down to your area, you put the chisel back in one of the split rocks and you hit that with the mallet to create your stone blocks. Now, you're gonna wanna do this four times, so you're gonna need two rocks in order to do that. Now, somebody had already started creating this pump, so I just took over. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a pump beam kit, which is super simple to create. All you're gonna need is two long straight shafts. And two curved shafts. Once you got that done, you're gonna attach it to the uh, tower that you had created earlier, and then attach the atmospheric pump to that combination. Next, you're gonna need rope and you attach that to the newcomer pump in order for it to work. Some lady stole my horse while I was doing this. You fucking vultures. <laughs> now, here's a quick clip on how to attach everything together. Let's me get tired. Mess with me and they never will find ya. Shit. People tell me I won't get it. They don't know me because I'm cold winning. Always in the ninth, I close in it. Always in my mind, don't know quitting. I'm gonna be the one that blows up in it. You're gonna be the one. Now, you can't attach the atmospheric the pump the until you attach the beams no first. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So it needs to be in order. And then you get rope. I didn't get it in that video. Now, in order to operate it, it's super simple. You will get three to four full buckets of water. 
water per cycle, and you empty the buckets in a cistern. Don't empty them in wells. Now, you're going to need one full bucket of water in order to operate it. So one of those full buckets, you're going to put it back in the pump. You're going to get your charcoal in a basket. You're going to click on the pump, and then you're going to light it like you would anything else in this game. All right, that's all I have in this tutorial video. If you have any recommendations or if there's a specific item that you want to see next, I think my next video is probably going to be on the new pumps. I have no idea how they work. I have an idea, as they're pretty similar to the water pumps. I gotta be honest, I'm not looking forward to figuring this out because doing this pump, although it seems easy, was a pain in the ass to get the footage for it. It took me a day before I was able to actually be able to complete it. And as you can tell, I had several lifetimes. I was never actually, I still haven't to this day been able to fully put together a full pump. Now I know that I can do it, but because I'm so traumatized from my experience from this video, I usually just stay away from them. But if you guys want to see how to make the new pumps, let me know and I'll probably be figuring them out. Um, like I said, I've seen people struggling to figure these things out, so yay. <laughs> People stay in idle. Man, I work every day for the title. And I'ma get it, that thought is final. The way I think you can say